James McSweeney after KSW40 without James McSweeney. Obviously, I was trying to get your uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, opinion? Uh, opinion? Uh, not opinion. Uh, just uh, just anything about why were you pulled out be, uh, uh, because of safe MMA? What happened? Um, to be honest, there'll be a full media link released tomorrow with exact views. Um, it had nothing to do with my medicals, let's put it that way, and I had nothing to do with KSW or myself. Um, the company Safe MMA had all my medicals. I passed them over six weeks ago. I did extensive testing, which I also passed. With all due respect, KSW is um, probably one of the largest shows in the world right now, right? They put on the second largest show in the world. Now, do you think a company like that, after doing my medicals in September 15th, if I failed, would fly me out to Poland, uh, to Ireland, fly my corner team, buy my hotel, my whole family, if I wasn't passed? Well, it all looked a bit suspicious because of the way it been handled and, and, and the trailer was professionally made. I mean, I don't want to, you know, they are a group of professional people, they can work fast, but it's just, I don't know, it's just three people on one stage. I never seen something, I've never like seen this. it before in my life. It's either, just KSW, that's what no, I can say. No, it's not KSW, and unfortunately, um, you have to talk about facts. Mm, yeah. uh, there's a lot of media speculation, and unfortunately, you're one of the people that posted something media that was speculation, and whether you think you have an inside person or not I know who he is and I know I, mean, the, I know the source mm. I do know the source who, who is it I know exactly oh, who never is. mind no because of course you will get fired right uh, he would he would be fired right uh, he would be in trouble no he would be fired if I would tell you then I would I don't need, who I know it? exactly who he is don't worry and it'll be dealt with so the fact is if you do a media and this is where media is a powerful tool but it's sometimes abused media needs to be used on factual I could go on media right now and say that you touch children mm -hmm. Yeah, I know what you mean. Now, everywhere in media, it's going to say he touches children. Yeah. Oh. That's a powerful thing when you get labeled with something like that, right? right. That sticks. Mm -hmm. When you label someone with something that they do not have, it sticks. Mm -hmm. And media attention like that is what's caused this problem to happen. Mm -hmm. That's why I didn't fight. Point. Because you go to a doctor, a doctor does a neutral test on you, and then you pass those tests, and then he says, oh, I saw this media link that an interviewer did, and he sent out there, what, how can you explain the media saying this about you? Yeah, but if, if so media sometimes, unfortunately, this is the argument that we've had, is that the, I've had our arguments uh, with doctors that have seen professional doctors' documentation passing exams. Completely passing. But because of media speculation, they're hesitant to pass an athlete because of media speculation of what it may look like in the future because everybody believes something could be wrong with someone if something's to go wrong. But and that's the problem. But doctors are people of science. If doctors would make his opinion on something that he read, he would be insane. Exactly. Exactly my point. This is why you saw something very insane on the weigh-ins. Because that was the argument we had. Because the, the uh, safer maid could not prove that I was unhe unhealthy. I had seven different tests by three neutral different doctors and two neurologists, all clearing me of all tests. And I will produce them tomorrow publicly, and KSW will produce them tomorrow publicly. And those people held responsible will be held responsible. And now if they ban me from fighting Ireland, I don't care. I really couldn't care. I'll fight Poland, I'll fight Las Vegas, I'll fight anywhere else in the world. It's not the end of the world. It's just a shame that when you have... The message we're sending to young athletes out there, and this is a very bad thing. A young athlete goes to a doctor and he says, yeah, in my past, I possibly had these tests, but they come back negative. That doctor will uh, test him there and then, and if he passed them, they judge him because he had a test a, a year ago. So what the message we're sending to our young fighters out there, which is not the message they need to know, is do not be honest with your exam test results. Lie to the doctor, because if you tell the truth, they will stop you from fighting. And that's a message that's a very dangerous message for our young fighters tomorrow. That's not, I'm, an, I'm a veteran, I'm 36, I'm 37 tomorrow. I've been around a long time. I've got a few years left in my career. I've had my career. But I can tell you now, these youngsters, that's not the message we want to send. And I would suggest for all media, you only have a career in this sport because of people like us. Without us fighters and promoters, you wouldn't have a career. So I highly recommend you get on board and support the right people. Don't go after speculation. Don't go after, uh, oh, it'll be a good story because it's a lie. 
go after facts, support your fighters, and they'll support you back. They'll be friends of you, they'll, they'll share their life with you, and you will grow together in this sport, and this sport is going to really grow even further than we imagined. But if you're out there to damage us, we're just going to step back and step back and step back until a point we won't talk to you, and you won't have a job. Because if you damage us, we're going to damage you back, and that's the problem. You're right about supporting fighters. May I ask, how did KSW treat you after they, they pulled you off the fight? Oh, I've got to be 1,000% honest. KSW supported me from the start to the finish. Um, the 1,000%, there's a lot of promotions out there that would not have gone. And I'm not just seeing it uh, to blow smoke up KSW's ass or nothing like that. I'm speaking as a the true fact. They fought non-stop for me and Marius to fight because Marius, he deserved to fight me and I deserved to fight him. And the fans deserve to see us. He trained extremely hard for 12 weeks to prepare for me and he had to go and fight someone last minute I've had that happen it's not fair to a fighter and that's why this morning when I see Maris I apologize to him personally for athlete to athlete we have a mutual respect we're both fighters and uh, he didn't deserve to uh, know, have that changed on him he didn't know for the whole week do I fight James do I fight Jay do I fight James do I... that's not fair that's not right, and the same for me. Am I fighting? Am I not? Oh, I'm fighting. No, you're not. Am I fighting? No, you're not. It's fair not fair enough, to nobody. Enough, yes, enough. yes, huh? <laughs> Almost past the weigh-in, before the weigh-ins. Oh, I'm fighting. Had the weigh-ins. After the weigh-ins, no, you're not. It's not fair to anybody. And the fact of the matter is, it's all to do with speculation. That we have to stick to facts here. We're all professional fighters. We've all got numps and bumps. But the fact is, are we medically cleared to fight today? Not a year ago, not two years ago, today. And all my tests come back positive. So me and Maris, we spoke. I think we're going to give the fans what they want to see. We're going to fight in March. He's going to have a nice rest now and recover. December's their next show. It's not fair for him to fight in December. I'm sure Maris wants to fight me in March. And I think it's his hometown. And in front of 20,000 people, we'll have a fight and put on a fucking war. And finally, have you seen the, the fight with Jay Silva and what, what Oh, I was think? ringside, of course. Uh, yeah, so listen, uh, I have my opinion, of course. I think Jay did a good job. I mean, the guy stepped in on, a, what, 10 hours notice, 20 hours notice. I mean, that shows something already. The fight told a lot of stories for Marius. But then again, I can't judge him too severely because he didn't really prepare for, Mar for, 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 for Jay. Jay. He prepared for me. Yeah. So his game plan was very safe, which was a great thing he had to do. Yes. Yet... He showed fatigue. I see a lot of improvement in his ground game, but was I overly impressed that it was a world championship performance? No way. Would he beat me? Not in the best day of his life. So we wish you all the best and we go after the and land.